basic methods of making clay pots by hand. So basically the methods how to hand build clay pots. 4.3 slab method. This is a method in which you use slabs to of clay to build a pot out of clay. So basically what you do is that you make slabs and then you join it together to make a pot with it. So what you do, you draw and you design a slab pot. So you take the measurements of the pot, the length and the, um, the width of the pot, of your pot, and then you can um, measure it with a ruler and then you can take your um, with a metal ruler like this and then you can um, decide you want the base say you decide you want the base 10 by 10 centimeters or so you measure it out and then you know that that's a kind of a size that you want for to make your pot with um, you can also decide that if you want to use a paper as a template to cut out your pieces of clay um, to, to get the correct um, size of your um, clay slabs you can also draw say your base or so um, and the size of your pot you can measure it out and you can cut it out and you can lay it onto your um, clay slab and um, cut it out with a knife from there so that you know that your sizes si the size of your clay pot um, the sides and the base fit together nicely and that your measurements are correct so what you first do when you start actually with the clay um, you can start by rolling out a piece of clay and you put the two um, pieces of wood next to the clay so that it's even and then you roll it out so this will see to it that your clay is rolled out evenly so you squeeze it like this and you roll it out like this you push it like this and you roll it out of a rolling pin like this that it's even okay so to the, now you can see this is almost even from there to there and you can also move it here and see that it's even from that side to this side so you roll it out again with your rolling pin this is basically how you make a slab how you roll a slab of clay evenly so it has to be evenly from this side to that side the same thickness so you can see it like that yes and then we, what you do is you can take your metal ruler and you measure the sizes um, your base the size that you want for your uh, pots base I've got a little example here of a, a slab pot that I've started and haven't finished yet but you can see this is the base and what I've done is I measured the rest of the, the base out and then I measured the rest of the clay out like this for example I measure it say it's um, 60 by 60 uh, millimeters or 6 by 6 centimeters I will measure out 6 this is 6 here Six by six, make your dot here by six, and then you can mark it there and you can 
you mark it then you cut it on this sharp tool you mark it like this as well cut it off there and here and then you can see here's your slab of clay and you see that it fits onto your slab little slab part if it doesn't you can cut it a little bit smaller also with your ruler you cut a little bit smaller and then if you want to join it you take your plastic fork and you scratch onto it on the one side and to the other side here yeah, and you take your slip with your um, you take your slip with your toothbrush and you make it a little bit wet with the slip and then on this side also you fit it in almost like a puzzle and see if it fits well and then you can add it like this and then you see it's little pieces going over because this one you use the base here so it only have to come to there so then you take a ruler and you even make a little line there and then you can measure it off say that's almost a bit shorter because it's got the base still there so you can just you measure it like this to see if it goes and then you can see there it's a bit going over the top so you measure it again and then you can cut it off so that it's nice and straight and then you add this on here and you scratch it with your toothbrush with a little bit of slip even with the you scratch it with a fork as well and with the toothbrush you can put more slip onto it okay and with this also scratch it with your fork put a bit of the slip on with your toothbrush and then you add it and then if if you want it to be even you have to see that see this is not the right size you look at it yes there it fits perfectly then what you can do also is you can put in a little little small coil of clay you wet your um, a little piece of clay like this and you can add it just to support it in the inside you can put a little piece or even on the sides a little piece of clay here just to to support it so that it's worked off well so you know that it's going to stick and it will stay here as well and here for instance you can see there also it needs some more clay and you can also take a wooden plank and just hit it like this and then you take a tool for instance and you can clean it off of your tool like this and like this and there and you can see here is a, a also a little slab part in the inside you also work it off well there you can see it's coming apart so you need to add a little more clay there so you can even put a little piece of clay like this where you see and you dip it into the slab but you see it's not working well you can do it like this and then you just work it in like that with your finger and then what you can also do is you can eat with your wooden um, like to see that it's nice and neat like this as well and there and here when you see it's coming over like that you can um, cut it off uh, with a knife so that it's uh, even so you cut it off like this and here and there as well so you see that it's all even like this and there you go so you can see this is all even 
So this is your little box. And this is how you basically make a slab pot. I will show you here's a bigger slab pot that I've made. These are very nice if you want to put a little hole in, if you want to keep it for plants or to plant herbs inside. So you can put some holes inside in the base. So and you can also, if you want to work it off more, you can take your um, clay grater and you grate it to make it nice and neat. So you, you grate it like this, if it's a bit harder, you can grate it like this. You will see. And you can even keep the texture like this if you want to. So this is when you work off your clay pot to make it even. So this is a slab pot because it's made out of slabs of clay. Basically flat pieces of clay. So with this you can work with your grater to grate it off a little bit. See there you see it. It's nice and more even and it's got a nice texture when you grate it so you can use it like this you see here also it's a bit grated so you're grating it with your grater and here you can see now it's already looking neater and so you work on your pot. You can see here it's cracking so just be careful. So what you do is you add some um, of you scratch it again then if it happens like this and then you put some slip in again not too wet just a little bit and you can take a piece of clay and just add it in there to support it. Piece of clay in there to support it in the crack so that it supports the pot so that it doesn't crack and then you work it off again like this so there you are so this is your um, slab pot and here's another slab pot but this one is not perfect yet as you can see so what you can do here is also you can um, you can even take your plank and heat it into the perfect shape like this and just neaten it up at the bottom so that it's perfect and then here as well so you just push it and pull it and until it's the right um, size and in a better shape and here you also work it in also with a little bit of more slip edges where it comes together like there and then you can put a little piece of clay in there for instance and that's already better so that you join it well here yeah, also you just make sure especially with the corners you have to make sure that it fits each other well and here you will see it's it's a bit um, unstable the, the base is a bit unstable so you can just work it off like this and then you press it over and see to this and then even here you can work it off but don't be in a hurry when you make a slab pot because the slabs of clay need needs to be a bit drier when you join them otherwise they might collapse so making a slab pot normally or usually takes a lot of patience because you can't just join all the pieces of the uh, the slabs together you have to basically wait till the slabs are leather hard as they call it so that it will be hard enough to join together and to put um, to add on to it and this is basically a slab pot we'll see here's already some more pieces so you just take it off again 
you leave it there and you can make little holes or plant or something like this and this one I'm still going to work off to make it perfect and these are two examples of the slab method